Check out what I got in my hand. You know what this is? I know you know what this is. We're gonna have fun with this guy today, all right? The karambit. We're gonna go over some basic flips and some basic striking techniques that you can start practicing right now today. Hit the thumbs up button, click the subscribe button. Let's do it. We're taking a look at the karambit. Sometimes you hear karambit, karambit. Kind of depends on where you are, all right? Um, you know, terminology, terminology, whatever, no big deal. We all know what we're talking about. But from here, we're gonna take the karambit. And the first thing is we're gonna learn how to flip it. There's only one basic flip when it comes to using the karambit. We're gonna go into the extended grip and then back to the modern grip. All right, so when you're gripping the karambit, you ideally want your knuckle line to be on line with the blade edge. Sometimes as you're flipping it, if you have an enlarged ring here, it might start going over here. We could still use it here, but if you have to, just make the, the adjustments while you're training with it. It just takes a little bit of practice to gain that sensitivity. All right, so when we're flipping it, Here's what we do, we're gonna extend, we're gonna open the grip, and we're gonna flip it over the hand, and then we're gonna catch it between the middle finger and the pointer finger. And then I'm gonna lock it in place with the thumb. All right, now to reverse this, obviously I let it go. I'm gonna keep the palm facing either up or on a 45. That way when I flip it back, the karambit clears my wrist and goes right back into the grip. I don't want the karambit to come back and then bam, stick us right in the wrist. Obviously start with a training karambit. That's always the smarter way to train. But hey, I know some of you guys are curious. You might want to play around with a live one. Just be careful. Make sure you got good technique so that way you don't have that accident happen. All right. So from here, we're going to extend it out. Catch it between the two fingers. Lock it in place with the thumb. Once you're done within that position, release it. Flip it back. All right. And just practice this a little bit. Nice and easy. If you want, you can even do a full rotation there. 360 if you want to kind of be a little more creative with it. Let's get to some slashes and some basic techniques. I'm going to take the simple single terrace or just five count form from right here with the karambit. We're going to strike on the slash, the number one, the number two, across on that three, across on that four, and then we're going to gut them on that five. All right, so we're going to go into one and two on the slash, slash across three and four, and then hook them on that number five. We can also turn this into all clawing techniques. So we can reverse this and claw using the tip of the karambit on the one and two, across the three and the four, and then on that five, gut them. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five. So we can slash them, boom, or we can claw them. All right, let's work a little bit of the extended grip in there. So this is the form I want you to practice. From here, we're gonna extend this out and we're gonna slash this down. I'm gonna flip it back, I'm gonna claw it up. And then I'm gonna do a slash. That brings me back. So it's three strikes per line. I'm gonna extend this out, slash it, flip it back, claw it, and then slash it again. Extend it, slash it, bring it back on the claw, and then slash it again. Extend it on the slash, bring it back with the clawing, and then slash it again. All right, and then from here, we're gonna go claw it, slash it on the extended, and then claw it one more time. All right, let's take another look at that. Extend it on the slash, bring it back on the claw, slash them again. Extension, bring it back on the claw, slash again. Extend it, claw it, slash it. Extend it, claw it, slash it, claw it extend it, claw it once more. All right, let's go through it a couple times. Nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's rock and roll. All right, if you like the Karambit, if you're obsessed with this little guy right here, hit the thumbs up button. Tell me in the comments below, what else would you like to see? We got some other videos on the Karambit. I'm gonna put some links to those videos at the very end of this video, so stick around and then check out those other videos so that way you get some more techniques and more ways to use this bad boy. 
All right, hey, if you want to really extend your training on the Karambit, go to KaliCenter.com and pick up my Karambit DVD download. I've got the link in the comments and in the description, and I'll pop it up somewhere right here on the screen as well. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Have fun with this. Remember, safety first. All right, safety first. If you have a trainer or if you don't, invest in one. Start with that, and then when you're getting a little bit courageous and you want to try a live one, just make sure you're very careful. Safety's always first, all right? We'll catch you guys back here next time at the College Center YouTube channel.